going to be looking at the unsubscribe pages. So what these are is when you've sent a email campaign or a, um, a part of an automation or a newsletter or anything like that from your email marketing platform or your CRM and somebody's clicked the unsubscribe link at the bottom. Now by default, most of these go through to a page that looks a little bit like this. So generally speaking, they're very bland. Um, there's no customization. There's no business logo. There's nothing that says, hey, this is your business name. So there's nothing on here that says this has come from Project Box. So what we're going to look at doing is we're going to look at how to customize this prime bit of real estate um, and other ways that you can make the most of these pages. Now for this demo, we are specifically going to be using Active Campaign because it's one that we um, personally spend a lot of time in. However, if you are using another platform, feel free to reach out um, and we can let you know if it's possible in your own platform or definitely by all means reach out directly to them. So you can see here, this is what I got when I clicked on the link. So over an active campaign, we need to click on lists on the left hand side. Now this is our sort of playground, so just ignore this. Most people will only have one or two lists. Depending on the platform that you have, you may have more or less. In Active Campaign, over on the right hand side, simply click on the down arrow, then click on Advanced Settings, and you'll get this little pop up box here. So, what you want to do is you want to click on Public Pages, and then you want to come through and click the Edit button next to Unsubscribe. This is going to take us to where we can manage these pages. Now, something really cool with an Active Campaign is instead of using this default one, you can actually redirect to a specific URL. So if you've got the capability to go and build a page on your website or a landing page to handle your unsubscribes, highly suggest you do that because on those landing pages, you can build in buttons, you can make it look pretty, you can do all sorts of cool things. Once you've got that URL, you can then just paste it into here. And then instead of going to the default active campaign page, it will go through to your own pretty form. If you don't have that option and that's not available to you, then by all means, we can customize it in here. So the first thing we're going to look at doing is customizing the unsubscribe completed. So this is the page people see after they've already clicked that unsubscribe link. And it's like the final message to find out why they've unsubscribed. So in here, obviously, it's got some very bland text. It's got the reasons why they might have unsubscribed. It's got a picture that has not actually been loaded in. And then it's got the share feedback button. So in Active Campaign, on the left hand side, you do have some theme and style options. Now you can't play with these. So what I suggest you do is just find one, you know, that feels right to you, that the button looks okay, that you're okay with the background color. And then from there, we can go through and customize this and build it to how we like. So if you want to add an image, you just click on image, but we're just going to move this one already. So if we click and drag this up the top, and then we can click on the edit button. Now, when you're adding in images to these pages, you do need to make sure that they are the right dimension. So if you need to go and resize them, definitely do that before you start this process. As an example, I'm going to show you what will happen if you just add in, you know, any sized image. You'll see here once it loads that, you know, it's kind of only showing the left hand side because that's all that will fit in that box. So you do need to make sure that they are, you know, sized for the size that you would like them to be. Um, also for us, we're just going to put it into the center. And you can see now that we've got our logo on here. And then from here, you can go through and customize this text, the button, and add in any extra text that you like. So if we start with this header, we say, what? You're leaving us no way. Now, obviously, this needs to be your own text. It needs to be your own voice, your own brand. So talk in a language that makes sense to you and your business. We then might want to add in a little bit of HTML. So in here, we might say, we are sorry to see you go. Sob, sob. Would you mind sharing why you are leaving us? So again, this can be whatever it is that you want it to say. It needs to make sense to your business. You then also might like might like to add in some extra text at the bottom to try and get them to re-engage. So um, want want to say social and join us on Facebook or Instagram. And then from there, you can actually hyperlink directly to the pages. So if we put in Facebook's link, if it will say you, insert, and then we do the same for Instagram. So we'll just change this to Instagram. Um, and then we save that. 
you'll see now that we're you know putting in some extra links and things for things that people can do you could add in some extra images that you've designed in canva or your own design program you know to put in some more you know make it more exciting make it more you make it you know this is your final chance to re-engage that person you might want to you know change the button label to submit your feedback whatever it is that you want to do so obviously take the time to go through and doing this um, and then just make sure you click on the save button at the top so the ones i would highly suggest you do are the you know the subscription unsubscription completed page you've then also got the form so sometimes people are linking directly to the unsubscribe form i would definitely go through you know remove the active campaign branding you know, add in, again, go through adding your logos, make it your own voice, whatever it is that you want to do. The other thing worth knowing is that you do need to do this for every list that you have in the platform. So you can customize these depending on the list that people are unsubscribing from. So if you've got a client list versus an email marketing newsletter communication list, you might want to put something in here to say, hey, before you go, if you're a client, this is the only way that we communicate with you. So if you don't want to hear from us this way, we need to speak, you know, things like that. The other one you may want to look at doing is for people who are going in and updating their subscription preferences. So in Active Campaign, by default, it puts in all of the fields that you've got, that you've got built into your platform. So you can actually go through, you know, and edit these and take them out and, you know, do whatever it is, the things that you want people to have access to. Um, you can, you know, look at this, you can go through and add in oops, the fields that you want to add in as well and then go through and reorganize them however you want so this is another really good chance to be able to build in your voice um, your personalization and the way that your business speaks as well so again definitely make sure that you're customizing those unsubscribe forms the subscription update forms if you can redirect directly to URLs, so that you could really bring your whole you know persona into this if you have any questions let us know and we'll speak soon